This year, approximately 7,500 students will graduate from UBC. Most will be awarded a bachelor's degree, some a master's, and a smaller group will be awarded their doctoral. Award-winning poet and UBC guest lecturer Sonnet LeBay is one of them. In our storytelling culture, plants have changed. When, when we lived in small villages in Europe, the forest was evil or dark or mysterious. I moved to BC from Toronto to pursue my PhD at the UBC Vancouver campus. I was 32 when I applied, so I was worried a little bit about going back to school a bit late, but it was the right time for me. When I decided to go back and do the PhD, at the time I was working full time, teaching on the side and writing on the side. So I thought that coming back to school, getting the PhD and being able to teach full time and write as part of what I do, that would be the ideal thing. That would just be my dream come true. So at the end of five years, just as I was finishing up, I came to UBCO to teach creative writing. My PhD is in English literature and I'm teaching creative writing. So it has been fabulous actually to return to the creative writing that I do while finishing up the critical research project that is the, the dissertation that I'm doing. What I would want to communicate to people is that there's a history around whether or not we look at plants as objects to consume or as living beings that respond to their environment and our environment. So that sense of responding to a plant as though it's a living being, an organism, almost an individual. Once you start looking at the plant as though it's, you know, alive, it becomes, I don't know, I just feel less, like, less inclined to poke at it. I'm not the only person who's interested in bringing that back into Western thought. It's, it's not that it's never been there, it's that it became convenient for us to think of plants more as objects to consume. And now I have a lot of evidence to show that we haven't always thought of plants as objects to consume. We've always considered that they are alive. We've always considered that they move. It's just that the story hasn't been told. I knew that getting a PhD would give me the skills and the qualifications to maybe get to do that full time. So sometimes I don't know whether to say goal or dream, really, but is to be teaching creative writing full time at a university, like I got to do this year. <laughs> I mean, I was excited to be able to do that this year. Yeah, it was great. <laughs>